Prepping some of those oh, most delicious school lunches I've ever seen in my life. Look at this stuff okay. there. Just this is something a little bit different to your regular peanut butter sandwich. Okay. Okay, so super simple. We've just been frying off some onions and some bacon here. This is for our like gluten-free kind of option. Okay. Really easy. You can make it ahead of time. Put it in the fridge in the morning. Chop it up. Throw it in a lunch box. Love it. So okay. like I said, we've just been frying those off a little bit. We're just going to get in there with some Jeez. something green and some a little healthy, bit healthy. Eh? Healthy lunch. I don't think I've ever had broccoli in a school. A school really? Lunch. Well, ever. You know, there's something new for everyone. Hey? You may as well exactly. try. It. When it's cooked down in your bacon and your egg yeah. and everything like that, it's pretty tasty. Look, if I go back, if I had to go back to school now, I would definitely offer something like. Hey, Great. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Okay, so a little bit of extra flavor in there, some parsley. You're going to be winning the award for your <laughs> school lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and then in goes the egg. And then... So just, just uh, like you don't have to like fry the broccoli a little longer or just like a... You, uh, you know, it's going to cook in the oven for quite a little while. Oh, so, I see, I see, I see. So we just added that. You're just going to give that a mix around. Just get that egg and the cream mixed up nicely. All right. You can mix it up in the bowl beforehand, but you know, that's going to take a little bit of time. So <laughs> that's that. It's all about speed when it comes to it's school lunches. Exactly. Okay, so that's that. You're just going to let it brown up nicely on the bottom. It takes about a couple minutes. You see the edges start to pull away slightly. Okay. And then into the oven. So you don't do anything. You just just leave it just leave and it. then into the oven. Into the oven and then it starts to brown and golden on top and you take it out and that's it. All right. Let it cool down, chop it up. Done. And then you got the, then you get that. Easy peasy. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So these are all just a few little ideas that you can do, sure. you know, to mix up your weekly yeah. lunches. This is your typical sandwich, just a little bit of your favorite meats, your cheeses, your greens, whatever it is. Pop it into a nice big chia butter like this, into the fridge, wrapped up. Lots of weights, books, really? cans, whatever it is, just to press it's it nicely. nicely. And then you just end up with a really beautiful sandwich like just that. Look at that. Yeah. She's a little wrapped in a brown paper as so well. It's pretty much your typical sandwich, but just looks pretty. <laughs> if I had that, I could have made a lot of money. At really. <laughs> and then again, into your lunchbox. <laughs> and then finally, we've just got some beautiful little spinach puffs. All right. Essentially, a spinach quiche, a spinach pie, whatever yeah. you'd like to call it. Roll out your pastry. Pop it into your muffin tin, into the fridge. You can do that the night before, or you can do the whole thing the night before. Yeah. Then all you do is you make a mixture. We've just literally boiled some, some spinach. spinach just for a second, just okay. to wilt it down, and then squeeze out all that extra water because you don't want it, it to get all like gooey and mushy. That's it. Salt and pepper, right. always a good thing. A little bit of onion. You can also just use a grater to grate the onion in there. Then a little bit of garlic, just a tiny bit because that's raw garlic, and then a little bit of cheese, some feta, goat right. cheese, whatever your kids like. And then some egg An goes egg in there, to just to bind it all together. together. That's it. And then that just gets spooned into those, brushed with a little bit of egg, just to brown it up. And then again, in the oven for at about 180 degrees, just until it gets nice and golden. All right, let me, let me go for it Go here. for it. All right, that keyword lunch, 233728, SMS that, and uh, we'll send you all of these ideas that you can make for those school lunches. The keyword is lunch, SMS that, 233728. Remember those SMS cost one rand 50. So yeah, like nice little simple ideas that you can do to just sort of zhuzh up your, your kids' lunches and even not just to zhuzh it up, just to have something interesting and different. All right, perfect. Well, I'll tell you what, from now on out, I want lunch boxes for, for work and <laughs> please, if you don't mind, you know, <laughs> packing some of these guys in. Sure, this is ridiculously nice. And also the cool thing about these little guys is that you can actually share them with friends because there's you can pack three or four or five and yeah. swap lunches out. I used to do that when I was a kid. I don't That's know if it, everyone exactly. does that now. Just, I think you're going to be the favorite though <laughs> with these kind of lunches. All right. Okay. Cool. And the end result would be? The end result would be these little guys. Okay. Right here. Look at that. Fancy, so little, fancy. Little bite sizes. And I see you've got some other things in there as well, so like dried fruit, some nuts, what yeah. do you have here? Some so pack it, pack it as your kids sort of like, yeah. Yeah, their preferences. A little bit of nuts, a little bit of fruit. Brilliant. Yeah, well, there's that, some, some great lunchbox ideas and also some great tips on how to keep your lunches fresh. Claire, yeah. thank you so much. Really, really cool. I'm going to actually keep one of these for myself. <laughs> but you know what? If you packed your lunchbox, you need obviously something to put it in. We're talking backpack trends for 2014. What are the trends out there when going back to school this year?